Hello everyone, this is Andrew2121. I just wanted to explain how this world record happened and what the time saves actually are. At the risk of somebody trying to steal it from me, I still want to let everybody in on the secret, I guess. Um, just out of kindness. Um, so the time saves mainly come from something called corner boosting, which is pretty well known at this game at this point, but essentially the every block is not an actual square. They have little curves of pixel curves at the corners, and if you can jump within those pixels, you can get boosted by the block, and essentially the, the pixels at the corners work in such a way that they will propel you forward one frame per corner boost. And you can get a partial corner boost and a full corner boost, and in this run I did not have all fulls, so obviously those can, they can be time saved. Um, and the other time save is at the end of the level, and that is essentially corner boosting while getting momentum shift at the right timing going up those uh, bridges. And essentially you have to use Mario's momentum in such a way that you take up the least amount of horizontal space while getting running speed to jump five blocks. You also don't want a full max jump as you're getting a little too much airtime. Mario jumps actually slightly higher than five blocks. So you have to let go of jump milliseconds earlier to be able to land on the bridge and get minimum amount of horizontal distance to gain run speed. Do that three times in a row. And I ended up beating the record on this by one frame, and um, it's it's very very precise. It could probably be beaten by another five or six frames. I'm thinking point six hundred or point uh, five point five eighty three. It's probably the best possible time here. Um, I know I can do better on this, but. For now, I'm going to leave it as is, and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.